we'll click on O2A and it will open up this uh, comp and if we scale down the image you'll see that we have a very large image and a very small composition. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the anchor point tool to create a sense of motion through here. And, and this is a little finicky but we'll get through this. We're going to double click this layer and it's going to open up the footage panel. And we're going to grab the right around where the word says layer and we're going to click hold and drag to the right side so that basically we have our composition here on the left which is going to be our final image that we're going to render and then we have this footage panel where we are going to manipulate our movement. So let's move the playhead to about 420 and we're going to keyframe the anchor point there and then we will go to the beginning of our comp and we'll keyframe the anchor point there and then we'll drag our anchor point roughly there for like a starting you know whatever that looks like a good opening composition and then we will go down to our end keyframe and we will grab it and we will get our end keyframe and we're basically using the, the selection tool to do this now we want to go somewhere into the middle of our story and we want to bend our Bezier handle so that we can sort of see all the action that's happening with our cars so there's our start it's looking good it's looking good we lose these guys right here so let's uh, bend, put a bigger bend in here so we kind of lose these guys a little bit so there's our start that looks alright Stretch that out a little bit more, pull it down, so we're following, we're following, we're following, there's our cars, and then our whip to our guy, so let's see how, how that looks in Alright, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to ease this keyframe so it lands softly. And now we can render this. So, composition, pre render, your name, tell it where you want it to go, make it Apple ProRes Lite render it and post it to canvas.